it has been a long long time since my last video it has to be at least a couple months i just have been you know travel a lot lately and i could not find a time to sit down and do a video with you guys however i have been um, still really good with my upload on the instagram where i see nice things or when i travel to some nice place um you know i kind of you know, click and post so hopefully you follow me on my instagram as well where you will see more of my uploading but anyway i can't wait to share with you a lot of things um, the first thing I would like to talk about is my upcoming giveaway that I promised with you guys when my channel reached 2,000 subscribers, I would do a good giveaway. And that 2,000 subscriber has happened about over a month ago. And I just post um, a quick post on my you know, shout out on my channel. But like I said, I didn't have time to do a proper uh, announcement. So consider today is the proper announcement on my giveaway. I have the giveaway uh, you know, present here that I would like to show you guys in a little bit. And then I will tell you more about uh, you know, the uh, requirement to enter my giveaway, which is very, very easy. Um, you know, if you have done my giveaway before, you know that uh, it's sweet and, and nice. And also, I would love to share with you um, these, you know, Pam, story Pam about the trip that my husband and I took back in late June, early July to the French Riviera south of France where we uh, was blessed enough to uh, visit Monaco. Uh, Cannes and Nice and of course I had you visit their Hermes store so I will tell you more about um, that in a little bit and also I do have few unboxing with you guys on few items that I was able to so get. yes I did visit um, two out three Hermes store in that area but I was only able to um, score something at one of the three stores and we'll talk all about it. All right, guys, so where should we How begin? How about let's begin with the unboxing and the story time of, uh, you know, of the, the Hermes shopping that I had um, in South France. And I would love to do this video because uh, some of you guys has uh, sent me a message on my Instagram asking for feedbacks. Uh, you know, how do I think about the uh, you know, Hermes store in that area because you guys are or you guys were going there soon so I decided to do the video today which is the very first day that I'm back uh, in my house um, yeah we've been travel a lot after Europe you know we also travel as a family to other places but I am back here now just good thing and I will be back for a little bit a little while before we travel again but anyway so let's do the unboxing first and then i will talk about my experiences in the um, south france so i have unboxed uh, you know most of the items here and i put them back so i can do the proper unboxing with you guys for this video yeah, so we were in south france for roughly about eight days total you know all together between these Cannes and uh, Monaco. Monaco, we stayed just for two days and I did not have a time to sneak in the Hermes store just because my husband had a lot of, um, you know, meet up with his friends and we were busy so we didn't have time to, you know, for me to go shopping even though everyone's saying that shopping in Monaco is the best because of tax refund, you know. He, but then I, I didn't have time, I didn't have the opportunity to shop there this trip. Um, my husband promised that he will take me back there maybe next year, so we will see. But I did have the opportunity to shop uh, quite a bit in Cannes and also in Nice. Um, in Nice, I love Nice, you know, at a whole. It's really beautiful. It's uh, very down to earth. It's had a lot more things to do. Um, but shopping wise, personally, I prefer Cannes because they have the whole, you know, the whole um, shopping strip, you know, by the by the ocean. So it's just not only beautiful to look at, beautiful to walk, um, you know, to to 
uh, show but at the same time all the store the sale people are so nice they are very attentive um, they were attentive they were um, you know really uh, answers to serve you for saying that it does not mean that they would give you uh, especially in parking environments they would not give you a you know a quarterback here and there it's not that easy it's the same system i guess worldwide that um, it's really hard to get called back this day especially from this trip to europe i realized that um, it's probably one of the hardest um, trip for us to score you know a, 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 an Hermes back um, however we were really blessed and happy because you know we got to see a lot more thing enjoy a lot more stuff and you know saw our friends and have a lot more fun in different way besides shopping and to be honest with you i still love Hermes a lot um, i still love uh, you know handbags and jewelry but the thrill of shopping um i kind of take a little break from it i, I mean i still love it I still love them. I still love the feeling to go into a shop and buy things, but it does not give me that excitement like you know the uh, the muffins those like used to be. Um, so yeah, I will stop by if there are things that I like. I absolutely absolutely like. I would buy them. I don't know. It's just that time of my life. Um, it happened to me before. Like I said, I used to shop a lot, and all of a sudden, I decided that I. I'm done with shopping and I stopped for good. I'm literally for good for about 12 years. I did not shop even one bit because I did not have the urge to shop. I did not feel I needed anything. Um, so right now I'm not there yet, um, but I feel like I'm about entering that mode. So it's just so confident that everyone um, on the social media talking about um, you know, stop shopping or what's going on with the uh, designer world the fashion world this and that for me it has nothing to do with that it's had everything to do with how i feel about um you know shopping i didn't feel the excitement anymore about shopping but i still like um, Hermes and you know five jewelry that i will stop i will continue shopping but you will not see a lot of unboxing in my channel as um, i used to do just because life getting really busier for me this day, especially with my two kids. Um, I think that's a big factor to my uh, shopping or my um, downtime habit or hobby is uh, I stopped shopping all together when my firstborn, you know, arrived. And then I decided I want to devote all my times to my family and being with them is, uh, is my hobby, right? I not only make me happy, but also took, you know, took up my times and I was happy doing those and I don't remember, I don't feel missing anything. And then I guess a few years back because of, you know, pandemic, COVID, um, and then because my children get a little bit older and they were, they are boys, so they hang out with my, you know, with my husband more often. So I feel I have more time on hand and then when you have too much free time on hand, <laughs> you start, um, you know your own hobby come back and my hobby has always been shopping and fashion and handbags and jewelry so i think that's how i got back into the shopping and then the social media i found you guys i found youtube i found instagram and i found all you guys who share the same hobby and that gave me more excitement um you know that's how i continue shop and shop right and then for now, my children are getting, you know, getting to the age that uh, teenage years, and um, they are still very good boy, you know, not under wood, and thanks God for that. Uh, however, being a parent, you always know that when your children get to teenage years, you have to be more mindful about about them. And so, you know, right now I prefer to have more time with my children to know exactly what they do, who they hang out with. Um, you know things like that so it I don't have that much free time on hand to go into the store and chit chat with the SA and you know burn my time and money in the shopping or in the mall as I did a few years back but anyhow it doesn't mean that I will stop I, you will still see me shopping 
not a lot but time, from time to time and i would you know try my best to produce uh, other video and i still own you a lot of video my jewelry collection my handbag collection my, Her my hermes collection and the reason that i've been sitting on those videos uh, first because it's summertime warmer time that's when my family is really busy besides travel for work we travel a lot as a family but another reason that i have not really um urgently making those videos because of what's going on around the world um you know these days make me nervous i have seen a lot of video of, you know with all the youtuber who got robbed um you know they got their house got robbed and some got robbed at, you know in the subway or at you know when they travel and all kind of things so i'm not sure this time um you know all around it's a good time to share but anyway i don't feel comfortable enough uh, to the point that honestly i have uh, you know divide my collection between jewelry and handbags um, i tuck them away i only have few handbags at the house you know for me to wear to carry few pieces of jewelry and every few weeks i would go back to my storage um, place you know, and then switch them i don't really keep a lot of things at the house anymore um having a social media account like youtube or instagram is a great way for me to de-stress to uh, you know hang out with people like-minded like happy like you guys however at the same time oh. it's uh it can be dangerous you know uh, because you don't know who is your friends or who are really share your hobby or they just take this opportunity to um, you know do something or try to find out about you or anyone they feel like they can target therefore I just want you to be extra careful and that's what I did I make my husband to rewind the whole camera security camera uh, for our homes and um, the main, main thing is I you know, I refuse to keep anything that uh, too vulnerable in the house so that and that but uh, I know that I promised you guys those collection video I really want to produce those videos you know for you guys but let me think some more about it and let me find a proper way to do it where I feel safe and where I feel is the right timing but anyway let's go back to this um, video so, yes so we were in Cairns and all um, you know, we stay in can for the most part and we stay in these just, you know, for a quick uh, overnight and then we also went to Monaco for also a quick overnight. We ended up spent two days in Monaco, but it was so brief because my husband hang out with his friends so much and we were too busy to, you know, hang out with, with our friends and so I didn't have time to shop or do really um, anything that I would consider um, shopping experiences for me but anyway we were in Cannes and as soon as we arrived in Cannes that day uh, we you know spend the afternoon having dinner on the beach and it's a beautiful place it's, I think the restaurant name is uh, something mama I, I will post the name if I found it on here because I think if you happen to be in Cannes um, check that place out um, it's really beautiful place it's beachfront the food is also good i would not say it's you know it's uh, five star food but it's about four star dining experiences all together between the view the drinks the service and the food it's worth you know to spend an afternoon there or a morning there most people like to see the sunrise there um myself we had the experience of the dinner that night and then after that first day we just rest in our hotel because we traveled the whole night the night the, you know the day before and then on the very next day after breakfast um that day was a free day for us we didn't have any you know any plan with our friends so my husband told me that if you want to go shopping we can go you know on that day so we happened to stay right next door to Irma's store in Cannes and it's just a beautiful store it's um it's a decent sized store it's not too big 
a small I mean it's in it's in the smaller size compared to you know for bird store or uh Joe Seng or you know Shiba store this one is a little bit smaller but at the same time it has a lot of uh, you know collection especially shoe ready to wear they do have a lot of different things variety of uh, collection that you can choose from so we went in the security people at the front was really friendly um, they greet us and they asked you know what is it that we need so i just told them that i you know i really don't have anything in mind i just want to check it out to see uh, you know what they have that I haven't seen from other store and they was like yes please come on in and, and just uh, take a look and after I went around and looked and I saw a few pieces that I haven't seen before which uh, caught my eyes and I really liked them so I told my husband and he went back to told the uh, I think the front desk person she actually there was no desk but she actually hold a an iPad and he told her that yes we would like to see and associate so she asked what is it that we want to see so we told her we you know would like to see this and this um it's basically a um a piece of jewelry and then she said okay someone will be with, with you shortly and then we you know continue wandering around the store i decided to go to the you know the woman the, the lady room so they point me to a hallway a really you know hallway the other end of the store so when i walk to that direction the bedroom is on the left side at the end jewelry right. section which i passed in order to get to the lady room and after the jewelry section i didn't know there was a little small private room <laughs> you know if you are Irma's fan you know what that means right so and immediately you pass I mean, I passed that private room. The bedroom is on the left side and the private room is on the right side. And I passed that room and I kind of pick in. They were bags. I'm talking about bags, not one. Few bags was showing to a customer. And I believe that uh, she must be a super VVIP because I see, you know, exotic. Uh, Birkins and I even see one um, I think it was dark blue at first I thought it was black but dark blue uh, croc you know mini Kelly so it was so exciting for me it was so exciting to see all that black being offered to someone and after the bedroom trip <laughs> I got out and it's just funny but you know that tell you how big the store is it's really tiny it's in a smaller size but anyway, we came back uh, at the right time. The right time meaning that the sales so say he came and greet us and asked what is it that I was looking for. So I told him that I was looking for, uh, you know, a piece of uh, scarf and also a, you know, a ring that I saw display. And I asked him if that is uh, for sale or display. And he said, no, you can, you know, this one you can buy it. <laughs> Only handbag that's for display. But come to think about, they don't have that many handbag display in cons. They have few, but not quarterback. Like I see a, um, a mini bully on wheels, which is really adorable. I see few people wearing that mini bully on wheels in cons and make me fun love. I never thought that I would lie that mini bully on wheel because at first I thought it was just too, uh, too, too young, too, um, you know, childish. Uh, when I saw that back, you know, on social media, like on picture and things, but after I actually see people wearing them in my hotel, and then the display at that store make me feel in love with the bag. And right now I have that bag on my wish list, which is I don't think it's easy to get because those are the uh, special collection, you know, handbag, the the bully mini on wheel, or the uh, mini bully. Uh, I forgot the name. You know the um, the one with uh, the one with the the design. Uh, I think it's for celebrate Irma's anniversary, something like that. But anyway, um, so he showed me the ring, and I will show you the ring. That's the very first thing that I purchased from this place. And yes, to jump on um, 
you know i know that you guys are wondering did i scar any backs of course i did and this is one of the really hard to get back to you guys but i will save it to unbox with you at the end but anyway here is the piece of fine jewelry to break the ice with my sa with that sa in cons he's a, he's a really young um, nice you know sa and he's a really new sa at the same time so after i purchased this ring from him i asked him how long did he have been you know has been working there and he said literally just three months <laughs> so i told my husband that wow new essay that's mine we might not have a chance to scar it back because as everybody knows that new essay they don't have the authority to offer backs you know as much as a season or senior sales associate but then my husband you know told me that if you like the ring you cannot find anywhere else who care if they offer a bag they offer a bag if not you still get what you want right especially here the price of five jewelry is a lot uh, better compared to the state so i mean i totally agree with my husband and that's why we and he the sales associate is super sweet and nice but anyway here the piece of five jewelry is in 18k gold so this one is not rose gold, it's gold, okay? Which is, you don't see that many gold, 18 karat gold, you know, with Hermes jewelry nowadays. And especially, I have a lot of jewelry, but as you guys um, have seen my unboxing before, I don't have that many, you know, junky um, piece of jewelry because I'm not, I don't like junky um, stuff. I like things that um, kind of cute, statement but in a cute way but this ring when i first saw it i immediately fell in love with this i feel like it, this is one of those rings where you can or i can you know wear years after year uh, many years to come and on the day that i don't like to dress up a lot i probably just wear it by itself and it's just so so pretty so unique i have not seen the same ring anywhere in the u.s okay and if you guys are wondering um you know how much or the price or anything uh, like i have shared with you before i will not share price on my video anymore if you like you know the price please uh, private message me on my instagram or facebook i have both and they both are under the same um, handle name kim.luxmom but anyway, so that is the first ring that I got from that store in Cannes. And then after I purchased this ring, um, I asked him that is it uh, if there's any possibility, you know, for me to get a, uh, a bag. And he was like, everything is possible, but uh, probably not today because today is the end of the month and we sold out everything but what is it that you have in mind and i told him my of course my whistless bags um and then he was like oh my gosh those are the hardest bags you know we don't have that many every time we got those bags it's gone before it even got here they have a long you know long list of people wanting that bag and I said, oh my goodness, does that mean you're not able to get them, you know, get um, get one for me? And he said he cannot promise anything. And I said, is it possible when you have shipping, can you, um, you know, let me know? So I run over and he looked at me, laughed really hard. He was like, no, madam, I cannot do that. If I do that, then it will take me all days just to send people a message on things that they want, especially handbags, which just makes sense, right? So I... I you know, I, I apologize to him. I say you're right. I should not ask that. But anyway, he said that you, you know, you are welcome to uh, come back and check every day, uh, preferably in the morning. If we, if I have back, you know, I will think of you. And I said, okay, that'd be great. Thank you so much. So we purchased this one piece of jewelry and then we left. Uh, it was really quick shopping trip that day, uh, maybe about an hour all together between waiting time browsing oh and then my husband asked him for two pieces one um is the a pair of shoes that he likes they don't have his size 
and then a uh, you know a shirt that he really liked because he was wearing that shirt to the store that day and he loved that shirt so he wanted to see if they have different color in you know in that shirt and the sales so say say that they might come in the shipment so check back every day so that's not the things for you guys and other tips with con store they have shipment every day guys so every day is a new day for that store but they are not easy to to give out quarterback that's all i can share with you but anyway we left and then before we left he was so nice um we felt the click or at least i felt like he you know he exchanged a lot of things with my husband and i and before we left he actually told me or asked me if i have a whatsapp i said yes i do and he said okay here is my whatsapp um you know you're welcome to uh, text me or call me and i was a little confused because he just told me that he cannot text me on you know arrival at back but then i said of course i will take your whatsapp hey guys the video is getting long so i will cut it in two parts and the second part will be uploaded next week where i will share more information on the giveaway and also unboxing the special bag that i was able to score in con see you guys then bye